back, moviegoers, to another Wife Pick Wednesday here on Surreal Cinemas with me, your host, not Graham. Are you sure it's not Welcome Back, Connor? Never mind. What movie did you watch? Today we're going to be discussing <laughs> The Book of Eli. Ooh. So uh, grab your coffee, grab your water, grab your tea, grab your beer, grab your whiskey, whatever you're into, and let's get into it. Don't forget your Bible. <laughs> Did you seriously take a drink of coffee just for the camera? No, I took a drink of coffee because I love coffee. Oh, okay. Check in. Okay, so Book of Eli, 2010, Denzel Washington, Gary Oldman, Mila Kunis. 2010? Space Office at Sea. I'll be quiet. Now, there are several different aspects of this movie that we could be discussing today. We could be discussing it from the aspect of survivalism. We could be discussing it from the aspect of leadership. We could be discussing it from a religious aspect. Filmography. The filmography was actually really good. And there's a lot of twists and turns that you don't see coming. A few that you do. It is a very well done movie. And it took me five times to watch it. Um, because I wanted to do this movie justice, and so I watched it many times to make sure that I got it all down. Because I rolled like not that. why you watched it many times. I kept getting interrupted by family. By me! Let's be honest. Alright, so Eli has the only remaining Bible in existence. Yep, and God told him to take it west. Um, and at the beginning of the movie, you don't know why. Just that here's this crazy guy killing and eating cats. So if you're one of those that are like, don't let the pet die kind of people, probably want to skip the first five minutes of this movie. Apparently cat fat is worth some money. Um, so it's they, they discuss a flash. They don't tell you if it's a nuclear, but you can pretty much infer that it is based on the landscape and the top, topography. I hope I said that right. I hope I used that word correctly. Nope. Keep going. Just act like you did. <laughs> uh, there's no clean water. The vegetation... Vegetation. Vegetation? What the hell is vegetation? I don't know, but there's no Klingons either. <laughs> I am really... veg vegetation is dead. You have, you have these really small groups, these, these towns um, that are holed up around clean water, as you would have back in the day. Um, most of your towns that you know now have sprung up around some sort of water. Or trees. Because, because it is absolutely, absolutely essential to life as we know it. Um, and, and these, these towns are run by these, there's no really other way to say it than gangsters, um, because they hold the water, they hold the power and society has come down to a barter system as I suspect it would in this kind of scenario, uh, which is why we are hoarding vodka. <gasps> Not because my husband has a drinking problem. I do. He doesn't have a drinking problem. He just likes to drink. It's not really a problem. So they make a point in this movie to point out that hygiene is really bad. Um, as you would suspect. Uh, like, soap is rare. And that's gross. Coming from somebody who lives in modern times. Um, but even ancient times, they had a way to keep themselves clean. But I guess that information was never passed on. Which kind of makes sense, because there's no old people. There aren't many people that are older than 40. Because it was the Flash was 30 years ago. So there aren't many older people. Even, even when you go through these towns, you're not going to see a lot of older people. It's mostly middle-aged. So either they got killed because I mean, you're looking at a society with nothing, people are going to kill. There's definitely marauders. 
which is sad. Um, and, and the two older people that you do see end up being cannibals. So there's that gross aspect I mean, you gotta get your to survivalism in somehow. Uh, because there's not many animals. There's not very much meat. Well, there is. However, there's cats. however, as you, as he goes West, you will notice that vegetation changes. There's green. There's so did the West coast just not get bombed or is it because the ocean's there or why, why? I don't know. So, uh, yeah, so he finally gets the Bible to the West Coast, and you find out that uh, the reason God asked him to take it there was because there's a printing press. Uh, spoiler alert. Um, but I'm not going to leave the last twist for you. You're going to have to watch it for yourself. What? Uh, no spoiler alert. But, but I am going to ask you a question. What would you do if you were... At the end of the world, we are taken back to the dark ages, and God tells you to take the Bible west. Would you do it? If you heard a mash, the theme song to mash, suicide is pale. Sorry, distracted. So. <laughs> All right, you guys, that is that is my take on Book of Eli. It is short. I know the husband told me to keep these under six minutes. Uh, no, because Miss Babs said that long videos are, um, they take up too much of her day. Apparently we're running our show on Babs' schedule. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Babs. All right, you guys, so uh, we'll see you next time in the theater.